the Black Forest Hunters chase is next in and this one is a two mile five furlong one Gypsy Kings at the top for Alex Cherry Romana for Marty Liam Conquisto RB1 Leighton Damage Daniel French El Sophia Mella and LJ's rolling for Thomas Rogers, Trojan Hysteria, Alex Cherry, Woodlass Drummer, James Shane, Miss Wacky Asset, Ryan Costello, Stowaway African, Vinnie Gerard, Karminski, Pont, Graham Clutterbuck, and Harold Bold for Ryan Costello. So 12 this time. And starting right by a fence. And they go over an invisible one. Hey, <laughs> haven't seen that for a bit. We ain't normally get that at all toy, but <laughs> we'll see it again next week. <laughs> there you go. They all negotiated the invisible first fence, and now they come down to the second, which they can see, and they've all got over that one as well. So there you go. There's Stowaway African in front from Gypsy King in second, as they come past the winning post with two more circuits to go and no more invisible fences. And I think it's because they're too close to that first one when they started. Probably should have been uh, made a two mile four furlong race this one. Anyway, Stowaway Africans in front from Romana and Karminski Pont and Gypsy King and then El Sophia Muller with Trojan Hysteria just the early back marker as they make their way to the third. And Romana's gone again. That's the third week on the trot she's fallen. And El Sophia Muller has gone as well. So. Two out then at the very visible third and Stowaway African is about five lengths clear of Gypsy King in second and Karminski Pont in third. Then comes Woodlass Drummer and Miss Wacky Asset as they get to this ditch. And over that one they all go with Trojan Hysteria still struggling a little bit towards the back but there's a fair old way to go yet. They're still just a short of two miles as they take the fifth. And they're all safely over that one with Stowaway African sitting there. Stiff pace, it would seem. Gypsy King is about five lengths back in second. Karminski Point is third as they get over the next. Which they're all safely over again. And Stowaway African shows the way. And leads by six lengths to Gypsy King in second. Then Miss Wacky Asset and Woodlass Drummer with Conquisto. And LJ's rolling and latent damage. Wide on the track, Karminski Pont down here on the rail. And Harold Bold and finally Trojan Hysteria as they get over number seven. And Stowaway African holding along with a clear lead. Over number eight. Safely over number eight then with Stowaway African still in front. The last drummer is clear second there. Miss Wacky Asset third. Gypsy King on the outside. The yellow jacketed Conquisto is after that one as they take number nine. That'll be the last next time round, and Trojan Hysteria won't be jumping it because he got rid of his jockey at it this time round. And that's three gone there. So one circuit to go. And Stowaway African still in front. From Woodlass Drummer second. And Miss Wacky Asset then Conquisto and Gypsy King. Leighton Damage and LJ draw and they're pretty tightly grouped with the exception of the leader and possibly the back two, Karminski, Pont and Harold Bold. There's a mile still to race and Stowaway Africans lead is down to five as they get over number ten. The grey Leighton Damage is making good looking progress on the outside. Jockey keeps taking a tug on that one. Stop it getting too close too soon. Stowaway African is in front. Miss Wacky Asset now back in second. Down on this near side, LJ's rolling is going well as well as they get over number 11. And over number 12, and the leader made a really bad mistake there, went right into the top of it and has lost a lot of impetus, but he's still. A couple of lengths clear, Jockey just pushing it along to keep it up to its work as he gets to number 13, jump that one much better. Leads by two to Miss Wacky Asset, Leighton Damage is now in third, LJ's rolling's got the inside and is still going well in fourth, then Woodlash from a Gypsy King, he's beginning to run on, Karminski Pont has been switched round the outside, Conquisto's got a dream run up the inside if it can pick up any speed and Harold Bold is struggling at the back, they've got three more fences to take and three furlongs to race and Stowaway African has been in the lead all the way, comes down to the third last gets over it a slow jump though and latent damage is coming next then comes LJ's rolling Miss Wacky Asset Gypsy King Woodlass draw surely between these as they come down towards the final
final two fences in. Stowaway African still repelling Raiders, but latent damage over on the far side looks to be going better. LJ's rolling going better as well as they take that one, and now latent damage jumps into the lead, and latent damage takes it up, racing towards the final fence. There's a little more than a furlong to go. One more fence to take, and then a very short running, and latent damage is now two lengths clear over the final fence. Gets over it well. Good jump by LJ's rolling in second, but latent damage is going to hold on, I think, up towards the line. Latent damage is going to take it. Miss Wacky Asset run on to be second, close for third. Gypsy's King and LJ's Roller, then the long time leader, Stowaway African, and all the way back to Conquisto, who was the last one to finish. So there it is then, latent damage to the winner for Daniel French. Miss Wacky Asset for Ryan Costello, second. Gypsy King, Alex Cherry, third. LJ's Rolling for Thomas Rogers, fourth. And Stowaway African was fifth for Vinnie Gerard.